Hi, welcome back. I'm back to see you again. I want to explain something to you that we did. Why don't you look at this diagram? And I'm, what I'm going to explain to you is this is a Volta pile made with magnesium. See carbon here? And then a piece of felt that's just saturated with the water of the elm. And then a magnesium s strip here and then another carbon. Now these two go together. That's very important because this makes the strap for each cell. And then a piece of felt and then a piece of magnesium and then a piece of carbon. See, and then a piece of felt and then a piece of magnesium and you get the plus and the minus. Now I'm going to show you one of these working here and you can see it right here. So you can see it. That this is about seven or eight cells and Here's the LED, and you can see how bright that is, and that just keeps that up, and the, and the moisture is inside. And uh, what I wanted to point out was that you can get some high voltages. This happens to be getting around 18, 19 volts of power just with this small amount of cells, and then just the moisture in here keeps it going and this is plugged off at the top and this thing here this little screw is there's a little piece of uh, a penny on top of that and it doesn't make any difference what you use there and what that does is allows you to put pressure on these cells so that you can get the voltage in other words you get just the right amount of wetness in between each one and the voltage climbs high but there's something important here Here's this motor again, and remember I said in my last video that I was working with dry batteries forming a crust with the elm. Okay, so here's the battery. There's no moisture at all on this, and I'm going to give the motor a little spin here. And you can see that the battery is working without any moisture. So. I wanted to point that out to you that uh, that it is possible to do this once you build up the crystal on the outside of this magnesium graphite battery and that's what I'm hoping to do inside this cell right here uh, Chuck and I built these at work today Chuck's got a much smaller one he'll be bringing you a, a YouTube video of it and uh, you'll be able to see something else that he's doing. He's probably going to run an oscillator or something like that. But I'm going to explain this to you again. Now, I'm going to explain this very easily. Is you got a carbon stick here. And then what you would do is... Sorry about this. I'm one-handed guy here. Um, got a carbon stick here. And what you would do is you would just spray a little bit of elm on this and put this on the carbon like this and then the uh, magnesium strip but see it's very important now this is one cell so you have to have a strap between it so the next one doesn't get an insulator it's just a carbon strip and then another insulator here that will We'll wet a little bit here like that and then this it would be another piece of magnesium like this and then a blank piece of carbon like that and then another strip It's important to not let these these uh, drip over each other so and that's how you would make the battery just like that and then when you apply pressure like that you're going to get the voltage is going to appear so I want to just make sure that you understand how to do this so that you can uh, reproduce this and you can get some pretty good results. Remember, 
that this is a multiple battery and these cells must be isolated so you don't want any solution dripping over the top of these or it shorting any of these cells out of you're not going to get the voltage so to make an earth battery out of this you'd have to isolate each one in a plastic tube in the ground and just allow the moisture to get in and then you could just start stacking up batteries or you could build a plastic tray and uh, and put them in each tray and you could you'd be surprised about the amount of voltage that you can get out of it and remember it's just about potential lighting these and they're not drawing very much so anyway I just wanted to point this out and I'll show you this diagram again so you understand it the first one's going to be graphite then a piece of felt then a piece of magnesium and then no insulator then a piece of carbon then a piece of felt then a piece of magnesium then a carbon no insulator then an insulator and then the magnesium so that gives you your cells so you just count the felt and that's how many cells that you have working for you and they're about about 0.75 under load when they're running and they just seem to keep running like this for very 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 long periods of time as long as they're sealed up like this so maybe some of those volta piles are free energy devices and you don't know it so anyway thanks for watching bye bye